How to teach kids to behave with a rabbit. Rabbits and kids can be an iffy combo. Kids get excited, rabbits get nervous, everyone gets frustrated. But here's how everyone can have fun, bunnies included. You will need a rabbit who's ready for some kid TLC, one to two kids, a cage or crate for the rabbit, a box or hiding place inside the cage, and plenty of patience. Optional, a puppy gate or room with a door that closes, and rabbit treats, such as bits of leafy greens or small pieces of carrot. Step one, before you bring the bunny home, prepare your kids for the new arrival. Explain that you'll be in charge of the rabbit, but that everyone in the family will be helping to make her a happy member of the family. Rabbit care books, magazines, and websites all have tips for helping children and rabbits get along. Step two, rabbit rule number one is, pet her, but don't pick her up. Kids love the idea of lugging a pet around in their arms, but rabbits don't like being carried. If scared, they may scratch or bite, and if dropped, they could get hurt. Step three, when the rabbit first comes home, introduce her to your children while she's in her cage. Make sure there's plenty of space in the cage for the rabbit to beat or retreat into her box or hiding place whenever she feels like it. Step four, show your kids how to talk to the rabbit in quiet indoor voices so she'll stay calm. Step five, have your children offer the bunny small amounts of leafy greens or carrots as a getting acquainted trick. Remind them not to poke their fingers into the cage or they may get nipped. Step six, to let the bunny out of her cage around children, place the cage in a room with a door you can close or pen off an area around the cage with a puppy gate. Step seven, have your children sit on the floor before you let the rabbit out. Leave the cage door open so she can get back in whenever she feels like it. Step eight, sitting on the floor with your children, watch the rabbit as she explores her new surroundings. Try to keep everyone relaxed. Point out how much happier the rabbit feels when no one is chasing or following her. Always be there to keep an eye on things when the rabbit is out of her cage or pen. When the kids have friends over, leave the rabbit in her cage in a closed off room. Step nine, if you or the kids want, you can hold small bunny treats to lure the rabbit closer. Step 10, when the rabbit approaches, show your children the best way to pet a rabbit, gentle stroking on her head and ears. Remind them of the cardinal rule, pet her, but don't pick her up. Most rabbits get nervous if you pat them on the back. Step 11, if and when the rabbit wants to go back into her cage for some time out, let her. Tell the kids that she needs to decide for herself when she's had enough playtime. Step 12. Repeat the bunny bonding sessions once or twice daily until everyone is comfortable. Most rabbits need at least three or four hours of daily exercise outside their cages, so your kids will have plenty of chances to interact with their new bunny buddy. Did you know? Rabbits can turn their ears in any direction. A fun thing for you and your children to watch together.